Hi guys, welcome to the lecture on aggregate functions. It is often necessary to summarize data without actually retrieving it all. SQL provides special functions for this purpose. Example of this type of retrieval are determining the number of rows in a table, um, obtaining the sum of set of rows in a table, finding the highest, lowest, and average values in a table column for all the rows or for, for some specific rows as per the condition. In, in each of these examples above, you want a summary of the data in a table, not the actual data itself. Uh, all you really want is summary information. For, for, for this kind of task, um, SQL has five aggregate functions. We have average, as you can see, it is going to return average value. We have count, which is going to return the number of rows in a column. We have max, which is going to give us the highest value in that specific column. Uh, the min, just the opposite of max, which is going to give us the lowest value. And we have sum, which is going to give us the, um, the sum of all the column values for that specific column. Uh, so let's try these functions out. Average function. Um, select ABG price as we use as for alias as you remember avg price from products table where when id equals dll1 as you can see we have the average price now in this alias column name avg price uh, so that's the average function. Now let's look at the, the second function, that's the count function. So count function can be used in two ways. I'm going to use the first one now using count star, select count star. This is a, a pretty popular function that's actually used in SQL a lot as num because that's the alias from customers table. Let's see what we're going to get. We got five rows. So, so this table, this customers table, we have five rows. Let's check this out just to validate our result. Select so star from customers, and as you can see, we have first row here. We have second row, we have third row, fourth row, fifth row. So we have five rows in this table. So when we use count star, when we use count star here. Uh, this also includes null values, but there is there is a second way of using count, which is like this: select count, uh, and we're gonna have a, a column name in here, which is gonna be let's let's count the customer emails, all the customers with valid email addresses. Let's let's count that. Uh, cust email from products table uh, sorry uh, it's a customers table and let's see the results so as you can see we have three as the count because it's not including null values because that doesn't make any sense to actually include null values in the result so as you as you saw we have two ways of using count the first way is to use count with star that's going to give us all the rows all the number of rows in the column we have five rows in this in in this table um, and the second way is to include the the column name here and this is going to exclude all the null values it's not going to include any null values so let's move on to our other function that's the max function um, let's try max out first of all let me clear this out a bit control l select max product price we're going to find the maximum product price is mm, max price from product table let's see so we have the maximum price of 11.99 from product table you can check it out as well select star from products <coughs> As you can see, 11.99 here is the highest price, so we're gonna get 11.99 as our result. Similarly, we can also do the same thing for men. So if you can just press our up arrow, 
we get the last query result um, let's change this to min for the minimum price let's change the name of the column to min and press enter ah, good so as you can see the minimum price is 349 you can validate the result from this from this table here um, let's move on to our last function that's the sum function sum gives us the the sum the total of all the values in that specific column let's try this out select sum quantity as items ordered from I only know the I only know these queries because I tried these queries out before recording this video so if you might be wondering how I know all this I tried these queries before <laughs> and then press enter oops there is an error somewhere um, oh there is this thing let's try this out again there is no column with order a typo there let's try this out again okay so we have the sum as 200 and we can also validate that if you want you can obviously go back and do select star from order items <coughs> As you can see, um, based on this condition for order number 2005, which is actually this guy, we're going to sum all the values that, specify, that, that satisfy this condition. So you can sum them if you want. Um, it's up to you. Uh, we can also combine these aggregate functions. So that's how you're going to do this. So you can have all mix, min, sum, count in one statement, in one SQL statement. And this is how we're going to do that. Select count, count star as num items. And we're going to have, let's see, min dollar price. As min price yes. max it's trying to be consistent with the naming convention and on the last we're gonna have the average product price as price average from products table. Let me check this out. Let's press enter. And we got our result. So we have num items here, minimum price, maximum price, and price average. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to use all these aggregate functions, and it's really powerful um, for your SQL journey. You're gonna use this a lot um, for data analysis or reporting. Um, that that's it for now guys uh, i'll see you in the next lecture